C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 2 fun with numbers part 1 page 13 fun with numbers this page has a picture showing a park with five children three boys and two girls they are playing below the imli also known as tamarind tree let's begin reading the conversation of these children radhika said i have picked 24 seeds gauri said hooray i got 47 seeds wiki said i think i have collected 42 seeds indra said i got 54 seeds sunil said here are my 38 seeds following is written below the picture radhika gauri wiki indra and sunil were collecting imli or tamarind seeds this is followed by six questions question 1 dash collected the most seeds question 2 sunil will collect dash more seeds to be equal to wiki question 3 if radhika gets six more seeds she'll have dash question 4 how many children have more than 40 seeds question 5 dash needs 3 more seeds to have 50 question 6 sunil has 2 seeds less than 40 and dash has 2 seeds more than 40 page 14 dot game This page has instructions for playing the dot game and game board. Just above the picture of game board there is a deer and a ladybug who are saying something. Let's begin reading this page. Guess the number of dots given in the circle. Now count and check your guess. Play this game with your friends. by making circles see who can guess best picture 1 shows a deer having dots on its skin and the deer is asking can you guess the number of dots on me picture 2 shows a ladybug on the leaf of a plant and the ladybug is asking and on me picture 3 shows a square box with uncountable dots inside this is the game board for dot game footnote children need interesting exercises to help them with visual estimation of numbers of things arranged randomly in symmetrical groups teachers could use other instances such as bundles of leaves sold in the market the school assembly designs on maths etc to make them guess and estimate different numbers in this book an ant has been used to show the child that a guess or estimate has to be made page 15 dhoni's century this page shows picture of a cricket stadium where cricket match is going on and spectators are sitting spectators are the people who visit the stadium to see the match in the commentators box three commentators two male and one female are sitting and giving the live updates on the match commentators are the people who are giving live updates on the match some text is written above this picture 
and questions are given below this picture. Let's begin reading this page. One day match between India and South Africa in Guwahati. India batting first. Commentator 1 announcing. Dhoni on 96. Only one ball left. Will he complete his century? And look at this. What a marvellous six. Commentator 2 with excitement said. Has he completed his century? Questions. Fill in the blanks. Part 1 Dhoni scored 96 plus dash which is equal to dash runs. Part 2 How many runs do these players need to complete a century? Below this question a table with 3 columns and 5 rows is given. Let's read the table row wise. Row 1, Column 1, Number of Players Column 2, Runs Scored Column 3, Runs Needed to Complete the Century Row 2, Column 1, Player 1 Column 2, 93 Column 3, Dash Row 3, Column 1, Player 2 Column 2, 97. Column 3, dash. Row 4, column 1, player 3. Column 2, 89. Column 3, dash. Row 5, column 1, player 1. Column 2, 99. Column 3, Dash. Footnote Numbers are not understood by reciting them in order, but by making association in familiar context. Here, the idea of a century of runs is used. Teachers could add other examples from children's lives to think about three digit numbers, encourage them to speak about large numbers, even if they cannot read and write them. The Chapter 2 Fun with Numbers Part 1 of total 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound Recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in production by Minakshi Kukreti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India